Welcome to episode 3 of our Inside Cutaway series. Last time Matt talked about the lap trigger. This time we're going to have a look at the driver's seat. So here it is. We got a nice car cut in half. You can see the carbon seat in here, the right side of it. Um, pretty low here, where we sit with our bump, it's very, very low and just a couple of millimeters, you know, above the ground. Um, and with the bump here, you know, at 300 kph, you can really feel the car, how it's skating and, you know, touching the plank a little bit. Um, that's sometimes, you know, when you see the cars, you know, spitting some, some sparks out at the back that we can really feel here with our bump in here because it's, it's very close to the ground, as you can see, there's, there's not much in between there. Um, our feet then, our legs come here to the front. Um, feet here in the pedals, throttle pedal, brake pedal. Obviously the feet are much higher than where the bum in the lower back is, so you know we're not sitting in the car more than anything. We're really laid back and almost like a, a nice new sleeping position. You have enough support, obviously side support is very important if we have high speed corners, you know that you're not sliding to the left or the right in the car. That's quite quite important. Then you got the bells, obviously, which are keeping us very tight in there, which is also important. Important to have good bells, which you know don't loosen after a couple of laps. But normally we're quite good with that. Um, and here we got one seat out, and you can see I can pull it up with one finger. They're really, really light. Full carbon, weigh one, one and a half kilos, and uh, that's what a Formula One seat looks like. Thank you for watching. Next time Matt is going to talk you through the air horn here a little bit more. Click here to subscribe.